Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're doing part two of come shopping with me and trying on wedding dresses. I do have a part one. I will link it down below. Um, I would love for you guys to watch both. And yeah, today um, I'm gonna be showing you guys, I believe two different stores that I went to. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you find it helpful if you are a bride or if you just have fun watching these videos like me, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be just like the other video where um, I'm gonna be like on my phone looking at pictures or videos of the dresses But I will be showing you guys like footage um, Of when I'm actually there because I was I almost tried editing this video like vlog style But since we weren't filming it vlog style, there's just like a lot of random chatter So I figured it would be just like faster and easier to talk about the dresses myself And a lot of you guys said that you did enjoy the way I did it last time So I figured I would do it again So the first place I'm gonna take you guys to is actually Debbie's Weddings by Debbie. Um, it's in Houston. I will put down below like both places that I'll be showing you guys today. I've never heard of this place, but my best friend found this place and she actually bought her dress there. This place is very cool. It has so, so much selection. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a clip of us looking at dresses and show you guys the store and then we can try on some dresses. Hey guys, I'm here with my mom. Hi. Again, <laughs> um, we're outside of Weddings by Debbie. Today, actually, my best friend Lena, AKA Maid of Honor, is gonna be with us. So she's gonna be helping us film. And the cool thing about this place, so we haven't obviously been here yet, but um, the consultant that is gonna help me today actually called me yesterday and asked me exactly what I want like what are you looking for she like let me text her like I want the top of this dress the bottom of this dress like literally everything I want and so she's like curating this whole appointment to already have like the dresses pulled that she thinks I'm gonna love so I'm very excited about that it's making me really hopeful that hopefully today I'm gonna find my dress but I just wanted to say so far customer service has been great so let's hope that we find the dress today Okay, so I don't want to be like, you know, super thorough in a lot of these dresses because we did try a lot, but I figured I would just show you guys most of them just for funsies. So this first one that I tried on, I thought was really beautiful. It had really pretty lace. It was more of a mermaid style. I really liked the way, um, like the neckline was. I like that plunge neckline. And the back was pretty, and I do love an open back, but I will say this was too much of an open back for me. It almost shows like my whole back. I would rather have like detail on the back mesh. And then it does have like way too much lace on the train for my opinion. Just remember guys, these are just my opinions. Obviously, all these dresses are absolutely like gorgeous, but I'm just talking about like me personally on myself. Next we have this like princess ball gown kind of deal. Um, I've been very like, I just love a princess gown, but I just don't know if that's for me for my wedding, but I just can appreciate a gown like this, a ball gown. This was absolutely stunning. It had like a corset vibe on the top, a little bit of sheer mesh, um, a lot of uh, details with the lace and again that plunge neckline that I really like. My mom actually picked this dress out and it was absolutely stunning. Um, it's just, you know, it wasn't for me, but oh my goodness, like these, I just love these dresses so much. Then we have this dress. So the thing is, some of these dresses actually have like boning in them and some don't. And this was one of those dresses that had nothing to help my body with. Like it was very thin. And so um, you can like see everything. Um, that's obviously not a reason why I wouldn't pick this dress. This was really pretty. It had like a really pretty neckline, a lot of lace, again, that like mermaid style. It just didn't give me the wow factor. 
like I think it's a gorgeous gown but it just didn't give me the wow factor and I will say something that I realized I don't love you see how in the mesh of the dress there's like the big lace and then the small little lace I'm not a big fan of that small lace on myself um, I just realized that other than that it's a gorgeous dress then we have this wow factor dress um i really was like i need more poof i think i think i need more poof and so then they put me on this let me just say that back of that dress is stunning the lace on that back looks like branches like a fairy tale forest like branches coming out and it is just stunning and it does have like the opening in the back to where it makes it look more of an like an hourglass I was looking at this dress for a while because I do love the drama. Um, obviously, none of these dresses are the ones that I ended up with, but this was definitely a contender for a little while. I thought it was really, really pretty. Then we have this dress, which really stood out to me at first because it looks a lot like Berta dresses, and I love the designer Berta, but it's very, very pricey, and so this gave me the vibes of Berta. I love that the lace is like flowers instead of just patterns. It's a bunch of flowers, and then the train was stunning. It had so much lace and like glitter on it. I really liked it. The front was maybe a little bit too plunge for me. It was showing a lot of boobs. See, some of these dresses, like I just wish I could buy it in like black and like wear it to like a fancy, I don't know, a fancy event. I don't, not that I go to any of those, but like some of these gowns are just so stunning, but they're just not my wedding dress. But this definitely gave me some major Berta vibes and it was, it was gorgeous. Okay, then we have this dress, which the shape was pretty, the back was pretty, but there's something about the lace and the actual dress being the same color. Um, it just doesn't show the lace as much. Some of these dresses have so much detail on them, but you can't really see it because there's no contrast between it. And this was one of those dresses. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I do love the ivory color. It was just so much detail that you couldn't see. You could only really see it in person. And watching these videos or pictures, I can tell that you can't really see the details. So that was definitely the downside. But I will say the actual design of this dress is gorgeous. If it had a little bit of a contrast, I would have loved to see that. So that is it for the first place. Like I said, I will go through them pretty quickly because I feel like in the last video I was like going way too much into detail. Um, so that's the first place. I definitely recommend Debbie's. They have like a good price range and a lot of assortment and it, the place is huge so they can fit a lot of people in and as you saw the place was absolutely gorgeous so i will link them down below and the second place that i went to which this was like it's kind of a funny story why i even went to this place this place is actually in sugarland and i was in the area and i was in the town center area and I just passed this little bridal boutique and I, the dresses looked really pretty so I actually made the appointment like a month before I even went to Debbie's so I've had this appointment and I just decided to go. It's a very, very small place but let me tell you guys, they have stunning, stunning dresses. Even though it's a small place, they carry stunning dresses. So this place is called La Rev. Um, like I said, a smaller place but a really good selection. And let me take you guys along to the dresses that I tried. Hey! We are back again for another try-on. Believe it or not, I actually haven't found my wedding dress. This is not just for like content, like I genuinely haven't found it. I have a couple favorites, but I haven't committed to them yet. So it's been a little bit rough. I am kind of down in the crunch time, but I'm hoping that today I find it. And if not, I do have one more appointment, but I really do need to get this going. So um, today we're at La Rev. It's actually like a smaller boutique place in in the town center of Sugarland. So we're very interested to see what they have. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this appointment. This is appointment number four. 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 Number four out of five. Here we go. Okay, so this dress was really, really pretty. 
Um, again, mermaid shape. It was like ivory on ivory, which I know I just said that the other dress needed more contrast. But the thing is that this dress had so much poof at the bottom that it didn't need that contrast because then it would maybe have been too much. I don't know. But this was gorgeous. I loved so much about it. I love the shape it gave me. I love that sweetheart neckline. I love the lace. I love the poof. Really, it just wasn't my dress, but there's not there's not really anything that I dislike about it. You know, it was gorgeous. This dress was really, really pretty. In person, it's a lot more like metallic. And that's the only thing that threw me off. I really liked the way it looked on me, but the appliques were just super, super metallic. A little bit too much for my taste personally. And so even though I liked the way it made my body look, I liked the poof at the bottom, I liked, I liked a lot of it. It's just um, the actual fabrics I didn't love. This dress is one of those dresses that I was telling you guys about that it literally has nothing to help you. Like you have to suck it in. I wasn't wearing any shapewear while trying on any wedding dresses. Obviously, if you feel the need to wear shapewear, like just wear it on your wedding, but this is one of those dresses that does not help with anything. Um, I really, really like the design of it. I like the peekaboo holes. I like that it had lace and sparkle. Um, it just wasn't dramatic enough for me at the bottom. Very sexy, again, like a gown that I would like to own, just not for my wedding. Alrighty, guys, and then lastly, we have this gown, which was gorgeous. I wore it for a long time because I really loved it, and then it reminded me that it looks exactly like my prom dress. Here's a picture of my prom dress. And then it made me realize that I really liked this dress. It was just wasn't give me the bridal vibes that I needed from it, but I just really liked the gown itself, just not for my wedding. I just thought it was so funny. I was like, this looks like something I've worn before. I literally wore that when I was 17 at my uh, prom, but um, it was a gorgeous dress. I really liked the beading. I thought maybe it was too, too, too much beading for my taste, and I do love a little bit of lace, and so I was missing that. Obviously, it all comes down to what looks good on your body, your taste, of course, where you're getting married, what season, what place, what looks good with your skin tone. And that's kind of what I'm trying to show you guys. Like, I'm not saying that these dresses are not like good enough for me. They're just not for me. But um, if you love any of these wedding dresses, like they're all gorgeous, you know? So yeah, um, that is me shopping for wedding dresses. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't watched me shopping for engagement rings or for my wedding band, go watch that video. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated with the wedding series. But other than that, I will keep bringing you guys some content. By the way, I do have to say, I am gonna remodel my whole studio. I'm gonna change my whole background, so um, I don't know how soon that will happen, but I am working on it right now, so watch out for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting me, for going through this wedding journey with me, and for supporting my channel. If you guys enjoy these videos, please share uh, with your friends on your social media so that you guys can support my channel. Like, subscribe, comment down below, anything like that, and become a part of my family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.